In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to download and install Firefox. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is start Internet Explorer. I have the uh, icon for Internet Explorer on my desktop. You might not. You might have to go to Start and then click uh, Internet. But in this case, I have it on my desktop, so I'm going to double click it to start it. Here's Internet Explorer. Now, to get to the Firefox homepage, we're going to click up here in the address bar and then I'm going to type www.getfirefox.com and I'm going to hit enter. Now here's the Firefox homepage. Next step we're going to click this link here for downloading Firefox. Okay, Internet Explorer asks us if we want to download or run the file. We're going to go ahead and say run file's going to download here pretty quickly on my machine. I have a really fast internet connection. Yours might take a little longer. I'm going to wait just a couple of seconds in case you're doing this with me. You can always pause the video too and come back to it. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and say run. Alright. Now Firefox is installing on my system. Okay, it tells me to click next to continue, so I'm going to click next. I have to agree to the license agreement by clicking this button. I accept, and then I'm going to click next. Okay, we've got a couple of options for installing here. Um, personally, I use standard, so we're going to go ahead and use standard. Okay. Firefox is installed. We're going to go ahead and run it now. Okay, Firefox has started up and uh, it's giving us this choice. Firefox is not currently set as your default browser. Would you like to make it your default browser? And we're going to say yes. And what that will do is anytime you want to use the web, Firefox will start rather than Internet Explorer. And that was the goal. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes here. And that's it. And now Firefox is my default browser. Now I'm going to go ahead and close it. And I'm also going to close Internet Explorer. So I'm back on my desktop. Notice now I have a Mozilla Firefox icon. And I'm going to use Firefox for all my Internet activities from now on. So I can go ahead and click Internet Explorer and delete that icon. Of course, the program Internet Explorer is still on my system. but I have definitely now replaced it with something better.